Hey everybody, my name is Wyatt and I'm Furtitunes and I just have to start this by saying this is probably going to be my messiest video by far. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this, but the album has been out for like four days now and I just can't stop talking. I'm going to start losing friends. My girlfriend is going to start resenting me if I keep talking about this album, so I just felt like I had to do this, get in front of the camera and just rant so that's pretty much what this video is gonna be usually these kinds of videos are much more focused if you want a better example of what I do with these my experience kind of videos I think it's pretty dope I'll toss the playlist up right there so I just really have a lot to say regarding everything the lead up the music obviously so this is gonna be very off the rails just going in a bit of a timeline order and then just going through the track list of the album really just going over every little detail detail I think I can. I will do my best to not beat around the bush and with that being said let's waste no more time. I really feel my journey started with the first Donda live stream. I had watched the Life of Pablo album live stream, the Yay live stream, the Kids See Ghost live stream, all the Sunday service stuff around Jesus is King and I just like it just brings a different kind of hype and energy out of me watching hearing the album for the first time with the whole world kind of thing like it's dope so I thought why not live stream it on the discord and if anyone wants to join in and watch it with me they can and we did we had about six seven or eight people that watched the whole thing with me two of my good friends and fellow Kanye stands joined in and it was just a great night I had some drinks and we just wild out basically. I remember specifically losing my mind hearing Playboy Cardi pop in and of course literally almost falling out of my chair when I heard Jay-Z's verse but that's for later in the video but just quick shout out to all the day ones that decided to pop in and experience that live stream with me because it was just a great night y'all y'all are awesome. The people in the discord are sick so Again, you should join. Anyways, the second stream, I didn't have time to watch the full thing, but my girlfriend and I did have some time. We said, oh, it's live right now. Let's tune in. And I ended up hearing the Griselda song. And again, we'll get to that later. And a bit of Jesus Lord. And uh, my excitement just fucking skyrocketed. I thought this album is going to be unreal. The third stream, I didn't get to catch at all. I just, I was asleep. And I woke up to see that Kanye replaced Jay-Z's verse with DaBaby's and he took Kid Cudi off of Moon and all this shit. And when I tell you, I literally felt sick in my stomach when I heard that. Yeah, um, I genuinely started to lose hope with the album when I heard just those two things. I was like, what is happening? Is he this guy ruining his own album like he did with Yandi and Jesus is King? I don't know. I tried my best to keep hope but really it was just such a bad look with the Marilyn Manson thing too I just I ah, just please Kanye don't don't ruin this and then before I know it I wake up on Sunday ready for a long day at work and oh it dropped five fucking minutes ago Ugh. so the very first thing I do is skim through jail and I skim through moon okay Kid Cudi's still there okay Jay-Z's there the baby's not there and already I'm like okay I'm back on it I'm back on it we got it so I go to work for a 10 hour shift and I basically just keep all of the songs that I knew and love from the version 2 the second live stream I had downloaded that and tried not to abuse it too much because I was very excited but I just couldn't help it so I just had a bunch of those songs on repeat and basically I, I work on a family playland kind of farm thing so I'm just driving families around on a tractor and I basically just kept all the songs songs on repeat that I had known and loved from the second live stream and when I tell you I was driving that tractor families in the car behind me and I'm just screaming guess who's going to jail tonight I, I couldn't every single co-worker that I spoke to just got an earful and a half about this album and I was just anticipating it was the longest day of my life and I finally get home find the time prop down roll something good headphones let's go front to back listen so this isn't a diving in so I'm not gonna go over how my first listen went I've listened to the album God knows how many times now, so I'm just gonna get into um, not even a review, just really my overview of, of my thoughts on every track. Things that I think could be tweaked, things that were perfect. So starting with Donda Chant, 
I don't fucking know, man. I don't really know my thoughts on this yet. Like, it's it's definitely a very weird and almost intimidating way to start an album, but it's not really the weirdest I've ever heard, so I don't know. Jail. One of his best fucking songs ever. Like, this thing rocks. This thing is a fucking anthem. Matter of fact, I've been saying fuck it. This is the we will rock you of this generation. I don't know, man. Like, I loved Jay-Z's verse. He killed it. The wordplay off the chain. He literally effortlessly killed that shit and dropped iconic lines as well as just simple tongue and cheeks as well as some that I can see are going over a lot of people's heads. Just literally an anthemic song. The energy, the sonics, the everything is un- fucking real. Now I won't waste time at the very end of the video going over all the part twos of the song so I'll just do that with each song as they come up. Part two of Jail. I don't usually, I don't think I've ever deleted a song out of my library even if I fucking hate it. It just feels inauthentic to not have the whole album there but uh oh oh wow just like that it's gone. Now for me it's been fuck the baby ever since the homophobic comments and just his music has just gotten just more and more dog shit as the months go by but I'd be lying if I said he had a bad verse but why the fuck does anyone think he sounds even slightly good on this song? And I mean it when I say I would rather have a dog water Jay-Z verse than have DaBaby's best verse on here. Like, I don't care. He sounds like shit on this song. And if that really is Marilyn Manson vocals added on... <coughs> Yeah, Jail Part 2 kind of sounds like if you laid a Picasso on the floor and just got a garbage bag filled and was just poked a hole and were just spraying a little bit of garbage juice all over it. Just like, what the fuck were you thinking? Anyways, God breathed on the rest of this album and speaking of God breathed, Jesus vibes to the max. And aside from the one line, God the Father like Maury, <laughs> like... The track is great. It does drag though. I'm not really sure why the outro is so long considering nothing really new comes in. It just kind of puts you in this trance and the sonics are good enough to, you know, keep me there, but I just feel like it's a little unnecessary. And the guest vocalist on there is just such a nice addition. I'm gonna try and make as little edits as I possible. Help me help you. We'll just fucking rip this out. So, off the grid next. Absolutely one of his hardest bangers probably ever. Cardi was such a perfect addition. Like, his ad libs. <laughs> His ad-libs were, well, I don't know what the fuck his ad-libs were saying, but it goes so fucking hard. Get tested, my bitch! Get tested, my bitch! Uh, oh, the drill bass line that comes in on the second hook is just, uh, And fi Fivio, Fivio Foreign went fucking crazy. Like, I had heard a few of his songs before, and I just thought, like, yeah, kind of cool. What the fuck? Where the fuck did this come from? And Kanye went fucking nuts too. They both just spazzed. Aside from the, I talk to God every day. That's my bestie. That's the one line. Bro, everything else crazy. Now Hurricane, The Weeknd, blessed the vocals. My lord, he sounds so fucking nice. I really like Lil Baby's verse. It gets into this... It's still, it, it feels so airy and spacious and godlike, but it's such a banger. But Ye's verse flew over my head for a little while. He fucking spazzed. Like, I don't know what I was hearing at first, but it took me a while to really hear how hard he was going in that verse. I love how the final beat came out. It's so nice and smooth, but hard hitting and elegant. The only thing I wish, and maybe I just haven't really gotten used to it yet, but the large large choir background vocals that come in at the climax of the hook, they get a little chopped up in the don't let me drown, and then it, I just feel like it cuts a little too, a little too early. I don't know, maybe, again, I probably just haven't gotten used to it, but that's the only part. Everything else, psh, song came out fire. And again, that's me being hella nitpicky, which is gonna come up quite a bit in these literally the nanosecond little thing that I'm like, uh, you could tweak that a bit and then the song would be perfection. 
but praise God. Woo! Donda's intro leading into the it cannot always be night. Boom. Holy fuck. This is like one of the hardest things I've ever heard. Travis kills it, but Kanye's hook on there. Oh my god, that flow. Praise God, walking out the graveyard back to life. Shit. Oh man, I'm fucking losing it over here. Alright, but Baby Keem's verse, I wasn't really sure at first, and it is very messy, but it goes fucking hard. He was flowing on there, and as much as it makes me laugh, I do really love the bada da bada da boom, bada da boom. <laughs> He really did bada da bing on there, bro. Like, I don't know. Now, Jonah was the first hook on the album from the first listening party that just drilled into my brain. It is so, uh, like, everything. It's ev it's amazing, that hook. I'm still not sure if I'm in love with the beeping, the beam, beam, beating that's, like, laid through the verses. Still not sure. Again, I just don't know if I've gotten used to it yet, but it does seem like a very odd placement and I do always expect like drums or something to kind of come in around Lil Durk's verse and give the song this extra oomph. So this is definitely one that I think could be perfected and there's quite a few things that could be just touched up on and then it'll be easily up there with some of the other great great songs on here but the potential is there so really this is still a fucking great track. I just think there's a little, you know, it could be, could be, could be. Okay, okay, is pretty good. It is good. It's just nowhere near as exciting or fun or luscious or anything as the other tracks are. It was really cool to see Yachty on there, and I really like the girl in the part two version. She sounded great, but I just feel like this track overall could have had a lot more oomph to it. It just feels like a little bit of a lull in the track list, but it's still good. Now, Junior. Such a fucking slap, bro. I don't know. I love it. This had the whole lot of red effect on me. Like, I just was like, oh, at first. Oh my god, I love everything about it, man. Kanye's uh, uh, flow is just so fun and catchy and carefree. I just can't help but love it. And speaking of Playboy Cardi, yeah, a uh, perfect fit. Come on. I love part two as well. Ty Dolla Sign sounded even better than I thought he would. Like, he was just floating on that track. There is one thing though, at one of the listening parties, I know there was a bit of choir vocals on the Junior Watson Abbey on my and it would and there'd be this big vocal. <laughs> and it's just kind of like, you know, you showed us that in the thing, but it's not here. So, you know, maybe it's just uh, reference point and it kind of feels like it's missing from this track, but whatever now believe what I say like this shit is like late registration graduation Kanye am I tripping like this shit it's one of the catchiest songs here easily so carefree so fun so bouncy this it's kind of hip house you know what I mean and that Lauren Hill sample flip is just what is there to hate really like this song is fucking awesome I love the spoken word parts back into the hook it's it's so fun it's such a great track 24 was one I was most anticipated for maybe gotta be his most like just full-blown gospel tracks it's so uplifting so stunning to the ears the vocals everything is near perfect it could be one of his best songs ever too there is one little nitpicky though at the very end on one of Kanye's we gonna be okay lines there's like a little clip or something I'll play it for you guys right now like we're gonna be okay did that how did that just slip through you know what I mean it's just a little and I do think it ends just a tad short I do just need a few more seconds of humming from the choir you know what I mean like a remote control I really 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 enjoy the hook and the melody here but I don't think it's that good, if that makes any sense. Like, I just feel like compared to uh, Kanye's typical hooks, it just falls very short, but it's still very catchy and fun, and I just love singing along to it. Production is great. I love pretty much everything about the beat, the whistle and the weird little ding, 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 ding. The schwabble gobble, the... I don't know, like, I'm just glad it's very short and I obviously would have rather had Kid Cudi on here, but Young Thug was definitely the best fit, so I can't really be mad at it. I wanna go to the moon. Like, oh fuck, one, one of his best songs ever. Just absolute sonic perfection. Like, 
like looking up at the stars and just slowly ascending into them and like god cuddy was perfect do i even have to say that like i I cannot say enough great things about this track like literally just absolute masterpiece 10 out of 10 one of his best songs ever i wouldn't change a thing maybe i could use a 10 hour version but heaven and hell where the fuck did this song come from? I genuinely almost had a heart attack the first time I heard it. Jesus vibes again, but also very much kids see ghosts, especially with the lives. Oh my god. And the The sample at the start is so crazy. Fuck it. Oh my god. Oh! Okay, sorry, I, I just can't, I can't not, you know what I mean? Okay, so Donda, the song, powerful, love her spoken word on there, this thing, what she says, everything, it's also perfect, the choir and the Tony Williams vocals are so, one of the most stunning and one of the most underrated vocal spots on the album, like, it does kind of end up feeling like an interlude, but if it is, it's one of the best I've ever heard. <laughs> Keep my spirit alive. God. Last year, when I was getting super into Griselda and especially West Side Gun's music, I literally told my girlfriend, if I ever hear West Side Gun boom 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 ad libs on a Kanye beat, my life will be complete. And when I tell you my life is complete, and when I tell you it could not have been more perfect, Gun's verse is fucking incredible. Like, easily one of my favorite moments on the album. I love how he kept it very much himself, but that thank god oh it's so perfect and conway's verse just makes me want to cry with pride it's so short and so simple it really sounds like he was in the booth and just said yo he just went off the top and just spoke from the heart and it comes together so powerful that hook is so I want to say catchy, but it's like transcendental as well. It's so, oh, it's one of my favorite hooks on the album. It's so powerful. It stays in my head. There is one thing, I, I do think Kanye's verse is very good, but it kind of sounds unfinished. The whole Wakanda, but Wakanda, right before that, there's like a, just a missing bar. And I don't know, it just, I, I feel like it could just be tightened up a lot more. And then boom, 10 out of 10 track. Jesus Lord one of his best songs ever. I prefer part two because really it's the same song with just more verses and that Jadakiss verse. Oh my god. This honestly might have Kanye's best verse ever on here. I seriously cannot listen to this song without choking up or just full out, full out crying. And the Larry Hoover message at the end. Oh my god. Like, it's just such a perfect song. It's so big and so powerful and just puts you in that trance. Again, it's 10 out of 10, one of his best songs ever. Uh, what can I say, man? New again, I can't lie. I love the first line on here. You know the, which one I'm talking about. And the production, again, it's so bright and fun. There was a little kind of weird, almost sounded like an 8-bit sample, something of Life of Pablo that, ooh, ah, Ooh, and like it was in one of the uh, live streams, but it didn't seem to make it in the final cut And I thought it really gave it this kind of ooh edge to it And once again Kanye makes me not hate Chris Brown vocals as much as I usually do Thank God for those choir vocals though because those really just kind of mask it all up and makes everything just sound that much better now tell the vision uh, I don't know what the fuck fuck he was thinking with this one real shit like it's just like rest in peace pop smoke to the fullest but like my youtube homie connor said does he not know this song has been released <laughs> and this song is like avant-garde trap like it's just i don't fucking know i just lord i need you was another one i hadn't heard that just blew me away oh my god like the choir vocals going back and forth with yays the whole song being about Kim and being so fucking heartfelt, but still very light and fun. The KFC Taco Bell bar is, 
it's so fucking funny, man. Like, I, I can't help but love it. The flow is great, too. I don't think I'd change anything except maybe at the very, right at the end of the song, he plays the Wheezy Out of Here tag again. And I liked it in the first bit because it comes in with the bass and it's it's dope. But at the end, I'm like, okay, dude, we need to hear it again. Again, that's just me being nitpicky as hell, but really, this song was just so fucking great. Pure Souls, I've seen mixed receptions on this song, and I do not fucking get it. This is, has always been one of my favorites. Since I even saw the little snippet video of Kanye rocking out to his verse, I love his verse on here is flow. The beat is so effortlessly gorgeous, and the added outro is just... Oh, uh, it may be one of the more straightforward songs. It's just so seamlessly great to me. And Kanye's It Ain't How I Used To Be. Going into that, one of the catchiest moments on the album for me. And Roddy Rich obviously kills it. Like, probably one of my favorite thing I've heard Roddy on so far, really. He's great. Come to life. One of his best songs ever. Like, what the fuck? This was the biggest surprise to me. His vocals just have so much passion, and the production is really just in an entirely different universe from Kanye's usual style. It's so fucking surreal, and the piano gives me, uh, fuck, I don't know how to say his name, but Ma Magayaki vibes, something? Oh, that, that album is fucking... Oh. But the song itself, it, it's one of the most inspirational tracks I've ever heard from anyone, and it just... There's so much life in it and like I'm literally in awe this song sounds like someone having a life-changing revelation in real time It's unbelievable and no child left behind a Absolute perfect closer for this album just a another just transcendental moment And I would say this is one of his best songs too to be real and again at the listening party There was on the he's done miracles on me they had choir vocals that just ascended and brought that vocal spot so much higher and they're not on here so again it, like same thing with junior it just feels like something is missing now i've heard how great the song can be and this one is great too it's just a little you know and maybe i'm just too in love with those very deep very large vocally layered sonics that come through so much in kanye's music they've kind of always been there like even with the hurricane thing how they kind of they come in so glorious and then he just cuts it and i'm like oh i don't know if i love though that momentum you know what i mean but again maybe i just love that shit too much oh fuck okay yeah i told y'all this was gonna be a fucked video i I feel like I there's adrenaline just coming out of every part of my body. Overall, I am very happy with this album. And it definitely is messy and it doesn't really feel like a very cohesive album. But the songs here are just... There's so many songs that I think are some of his best ever. And I kind of like that there's so much music here because like with all the many, many albums that he has canceled and songs that have leaked or have been rumored to come out, like Buddy said he has how many songs with Kendrick Lamar and Young Thug and come on, like shit that we're never going to hear. He kind of just said, yo, fuck it. I'm going to give y'all everything with this one. And Glory be to God, uh, he, I couldn't be happier with just that alone. Even if there's a lot of messy moments, and I think the, the strongest like flaw for me is his verse on Keep My Spirit Alive just being pretty messy. It's just starts so strong, and other than that, I mentioned every other little tweak that I would make. I have hopes that he'll give this the Life of Pablo treatment and like update it over the next few months. If you do, you'll get another video from me probably at the end of it, but man, I, I am hoping he does that because I'll never forget when that started happening and he started updating it and I was like, oh my god, he's making this album so much better than it already was. If that happens with this, man, like this could be, this could be Kanye's best. Am I tripping? I'm, I, maybe I'm just caught up in the hype, but holy shit. It's definitely too early to say that, but uh, what else can I say? Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you made it this far, bro, you are FURTA team for real because 
I'm literally just losing my mind over here just decided yeah join the discord please join the discord i love it i love talking with you guys all the time it's great it's great the community is just perfect y'all are fucking amazing follow me on twitter come talk some shit with me on instagram all that good stuff i love you and we'll see you in the next one the part two of diving in last week coming soon much love